we're going to be working with dominant and recessive traits and we're going to show you how to make the perfect superhero. Okay. In order to do this, we're going to start with a blank superhero. We're going to be working with some easily observable traits such as eye color, hair color, hair texture, ears, are they attached, are they unattached, freckles, yes or no, and what's the dominant hand. Then we're going to move into superpowers, but for right now let's just look at eye color. To determine what eye color your superhero is going to have, you're going to go to this slide right here. And see, for the choices of eye color, we have green and purple. Now, because we're designing our superheroes, we get to choose whether we want our superheroes to have green or purple eyes. I'm going to say I want green eyes. Okay, so with green being a dominant, there could be two choices. We could have a dominant, dominant, or a dominant recessive. So we're going to flip a coin to see which one it is. It's tails, and that means it's homozygous, which means that it's the same. So it's dominant, dominant, or big E, big E. So right here, we're going to write big E, big E, which means it's carrying two dominant green traits. Now, if we were to have landed on heads, then we would have had dominant recessive, because it's heterozygous, which means different. So we're going to have it's, a, it's going to be green, but the eyes are going to be green, but it's a carrier of the purple gene. So we would be big E, little e in that case, but right now we're big E, big E. Now we're going to do this for the rest of the traits. Now that we've flipped the coin to determine all of the traits, we're going to look at superpowers. Let's see, what superpowers do we have to choose from? We have super stretchiness. Super strength. Oh, over here is mind control. Now, if you look right here, what does it say? This says most dominant. And over here, we have most recessive, which means that super stretchiness is the absolute most dominant, and mind control is the most recessive. So, water control would be more dominant than mind control, meaning that if we have somebody who controls the water, they can control water, but they are a carrier of the mind control superpower. So I think I want my superwoman to be super stretchy and to be a carrier of mind control. So here, for super stretchy, we're going to write here, super stretchy. And it's the most dominant, so we're going to give it a capital A. And then here, I have mind control. And it's the most recessive, so we're going to give it a lowercase a. Now that we have all of our traits determined, we're going to go ahead and give our superhero a name. We're going to color it in according to the traits that we ended up with. And then we're going to turn it over to the back, and we're going to write a short bio about our superhero and give them kind of a backstory. You can do this in about one paragraph. And then we're going to move on to the next step in our superhero project. Now that we finished Flexi Lexi, we went and found a classmate, the Inferno, and now we're going to see what possible genotypes their children could have. Put them together, and the dad's color is going to be red, and the mom's color is always going to be black. So over here we took their eye color, and their eye color is pretty simple because we went with dominant dominant, and it ended up another dominant dominant, so all of them are going to be dominant. But here, with hair color, we could have some more variation. So let's look over here. We have a dominant recessive. So we're going to put a big A and a little a. And over here, we have recessive recessive. So we're going to have a little a and a little a. And now we're going to cross them and see what happens. So over here, we have the dominant. It's going to go a. And the same thing is going to happen here. Now over here, it's different. So we're going to have the little a and a little a. 
And the same thing over here. Little A, little A. Okay. So now the question remains, well, if I have one boy, what's he going to be? So how we're going to figure this out is we have this die. This die has the numbers 1 through 4, which are indicated over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is a blank, which means roll again. And this is a star, which means you get to choose which box you want the most for your child. So here, we're going to roll the die. And we got a star. Well, I want the special one, so I'm going to say I want dominant recessive right here, so we're gonna put a star next to this one. We chose that one. And we're gonna do the same thing for the rest of our punnet squares. Now that we finish our standard observable traits, we're going to go ahead and move on to the superpowers. Now the superpowers are a little bit trickier to do in that we have to compare the different traits as far as dominant and recessive against each other. So here we have mom with super stretchy as dominant and mind control as a recessive. So we're going to put mom over here with a capital A for super stretchy and a lowercase a for the recessive mind control. Now dad over here controls fire and that's his dominant trait so we're going to put a capital A here with fire and a lowercase a for his recessive mind control. Now, let's complete the Punnett square and see how this works. Alright, so for here, we have two dominant traits, stretchy and fire, but we have to compare them against each other to see which one is more dominant. So we have fire, which is over here, and stretchy, which is the most dominant. So we're going to put here that it's super stretchy, and a carrier of fire control. So we're going to put stretchy and fire control down here. And again over here we have obviously the dominant stretchy and the recessive mind control. And again we would have stretchy but this time the recessive is mind control. Now over here we have fire from the dad and mind control. Now fire, remember, is more dominant than mind control. So we're going to put the big A and the little a here. And we have fire and mind. And over here we have two recessive traits and they're both mind control this time. So we're just going to put little a, little a, and the only trait for this one is mind control. All right, now that we've done this, we're going to go over here and take all of our genotypes and we're going to create our new superhero. Now you can see this one is in the shape of a boy and we're going to give him a name and we're going to color him according to his genotypes and we're going to illustrate him using his new superpower but wait we can't do that yet because we're not sure which superpower he got so let's go back do you remember how we used to roll the dice so now we're going to roll the dice and here the die says two so he is stretchy with a mind control recessive trait. 
So now you get to figure out how to draw him and make him stretchy. Alright, thank you very much. Enjoy your project.